I don't know if you guys are gonna take me seriously in this hat, but I had to wear a costume since it's a Halloween video. Hey everyone, I got an exciting video for you guys today. Since I've been living in the UK, this is the first time that I live in a house, not a flat, so I thought it's a good time to decorate my front porch with Halloween decor. We moved here on the 30th of September last year, and that time obviously decorating my front porch was not on the top of my list. A few weeks ago I made over our front porch, if you haven't seen that video go check it out, I will link it in the description, and I chose colors that I knew would go well with Halloween decor, and also even Christmas decoration, which you will see in November or December. I bought most of the decor off of Amazon, I will link everything in the description. I started out by putting up these paper bats on the doors, they came with stickers, so it was really easy to apply them. I also got some spider web. The key is to stretch it out well so it looks really real. It came with some fake spiders. I put some on the web. I got this waterproof fabric, which is fine for exterior usage. I cut it to size and I placed it under our doormat. I could have bought a new doormat with some Halloween tags or design, but I didn't see the point. I wanted to put a Halloween wreath on the front door and of course you can buy a cheap one, but I wanted to make my own to show you guys how easy it is. I needed a foam wreath, you can buy any size, I went for a small one, and I also used these Halloween ribbons, some black tulle and glue gun. First I wrapped around the wreath with one of the ribbons, I used some glue to secure it. Then I just made some bows as you can see and I glued them to the wreath. The good thing is that these are wired ribbons so they are quite tough. And here's the end result, I placed it on our front door. Okay, so the main decor was the witches. I actually saw an image on Pinterest and I wanted to create it. Of course, there are multiple ways to do it. As you can see on the image, the bodies are just stuffed with something and I was wondering for a while how to actually execute this. And I thought I'm just gonna buy mannequins, which cost a lot by the way. So we went to a shopping mall, it's an outlet shopping mall, and Gap closed down, so they were selling everything, even their mannequins from the windows, which was great because I bought like a child one and the woman bust for only 20 pounds, which was such a good deal, and they were quite sturdy, so that was great. I went there with my mom and we thought we can just walk home with those because we didn't go by car. We don't live far, so I was like, that's fine. Of course, everyone was looking at us like, 
hideous carrying those mannequins, but that's fine. We stop for a second because I wanted to take off my jacket and there was some teenagers coming our way and one of them was like, oh, can I hug him? Can I hug him? And he was talking about the child mannequin. I was like, just go away, yeah, please. And then the other one actually grabbed the child mannequin and he was like, oh, this is mine, this is mine. And he ran away. I was like, what the hell is going on? And of course I ran after him. He didn't get far because he couldn't. And I grabbed one end and he was holding the other end and we were pulling it from both sides. I thought he was just gonna drop it, but no, he was actually fighting for it. I was like, what the hell is going on? And I was like, you don't need this. He just wanted to have fun because it's, it's a joke for him. And he didn't expect me that I'm gonna run after him as a woman. And he was actually shocked by that. But I was like, you don't know who you're dealing with. Eventually I was able to take it away from him. But you guys can imagine how weird this can be, being on the street and fighting for a mannequin. People, I'm sure, were looking at us, I'm not, I don't know. But I just didn't believe this was happening. If it's on the street and he wants to take it and I want to take it and we are fighting for it, that's one thing. But I paid for this, you know? Like, and you just want to steal it, basically. And you would just drop it somewhere in the middle of the street because you don't need it, you just want to have fun. Eventually, I was able to take it away and he ran away. But I was like, this is really happened? Like... You guys can see how much I do for you guys, like, and for the videos. Like, <laughs> I'm willing to fight for mannequins on the street. Obviously, after this, I was like, I'm not gonna leave the mannequins outside because people are just gonna steal them. But I still wanted to make it to show you guys how you can do it as well. You can leave it in your garden or if you're doing a Halloween party, it could be a really good decoration item. The woman mannequin didn't have a high base, so I swapped it out with this wooden one, which we had. First I just placed the black cotton fabric on the body, I tied it down on the neck so it's visible where the neck is, then I did the same in the waist area. I also placed another piece of fabric on the bottom and I tied it again. Actually you can use any kind of black fabric, I just chose a plain cotton one. I placed the black tool on the body, it covered it well at the front and at the back, I secured it, then I added another piece of fabric so it's covered on both sides too. I used like 5 meters of black fabric and 10 meters of tool for both mannequins all together. I needed to make the arm so I cut the fabric on the side all the way up to the armpit area at the front and the back too. I tied the arm with a string and you will see I cut off the excess. I secured the excess fabric on both sides. I did the same process with the child mannequin. I placed the first black fabric on it and then the tool. So for the head I used a half meter of black fabric, I tied one end and I used the stuffing from a pillow, I placed it on the fabric, I pushed it down, secured it and then I tied the other end too as you can see. Obviously it doesn't need to be a perfect head shape. I didn't cut off the excess because that will be the bitch's hair. Then I simply glued the head to the neck. I did the same for the child but I just did a smaller head. Then I just added the witch hat, which I bought off of Amazon. If you also would like to make these, I suggest you to put some weight on the bottom so they will not fall when it's windy. the end result.
hope you liked the video. Give it a like, please, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.